Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, back on the vice uh, today. Today's fly I'm going to tie is a, um, a weighted pheasant tail nymph. Uh, it's going to be in um, chocolate brown. Um, it's very, very um, popular on the still waters. Catches fish all year round. Um, floating line, uh, slow figure of eight. It catches tons and tons of fish. So we'll uh, we'll get on tie it. I'll describe the stuff as I as I go through. Um, the hook I've got in the vice is a Hanek two thirty BL uh, barbless wet hook. The bead is a a gold um, two point eight. And the thread I'm going to start tying with is um, brown. Yeah, and it's uh, four, you know, but any any fine brown thread will do you, so whatever whatever you've got. So we'll we'll start by just putting the base down. Doesn't have to be touch and turn. It's all getting covered up, and then we'll take it down the the shank to where the barb would be if it's um was a barb took but it's barbless so what we're going to do is tie the tail in with the, the chocolate brown pheasant tail so for the tail i'm going to take about possibly about eight eight bits i'm going to cut that off I'm going to keep the tips in line and then take a wrap. Now we need to just adjust that because it's a bit too long. Don't want it too long, so about this. Okay, and then we'll tie the rest of it down along the shank towards the bead. Cut that off. Now, what we're going to use uh, for to protect the pheasant tail is um, copper wire. It's, this is thin. Uh, it's a nice contrast against the um, the chocolate chocolate brown pheasant tail body. So we'll tie that in. along the side, down towards the tail. And the key part of the um, pheasant tail will we'll take about four strands. And we'll cut the very, very fine tips of the end. And then we'll tie it in. Along the body. And then we'll use the rotary part of our vase. And go over the body, turning touch and turns if we can as we go. Not the longest of pheasant tails so it gets a bit tricky when you get to the end. We'll take that over there. Tie that down. And what we'll do with this, we'll come the opposite way. And take even wraps down the body. You know this protects it and it also gives the effect of a, a nice rib. So we'll just wiggle that off. And 
and I want in there put these off now for the thorax um, we're going to use some um, it's body body skin or nymph skin and it's in a in a brown it's it's elasticated um, and you can taper it cut it with a cut it with a scissors put a put a point on one end and we'll tie it in behind the bead that's it see where we are at Oops, about there so that will get pulled over for the for the thorax cover what I'm going to do now for the thorax itself make a small double loop and then put the little homemade dumb tool in now what I'm going to use for the thorax is um, this stuff here it's a uh, dubbing it's saman dubbing it's from czech republic and it's uv bronze it's got, it's got lovely lovely colors in it it'll this will give the um illusion of uh, legs as well so we don't need loads of this we'll just we'll put it in and, and spin it up take them out So we'll open the double loop up. Put it in. And then we'll give it a spin. It's got some lovely colours in. Like you see it's got UV, bits of uh, green. It uh, makes a nice nice thorax and you can see the, the legs looks as if there's legs sticking out the bottom as well so really good so what we'll do is we'll just wrap that round make the thorax that's enough Take it round and then we'll cut that off. What we can do, we can tidy all this up depending how much how much one sticking out the bottom once it's done. So we'll, we'll now pull our, um, the thorax skin over the top. Put it in behind the bead, take it in behind the bead. We'll look, see what it looks like. Yep. And then with this one. We'll Just nick it at one side. And it should pull off. And we'll pull these down over. Let's we'll see if we can sort the thorax out. We'll just finish it off with the whip tool. any stragglers off that you're not you're not happy with you know you can you can basically trim it up 
leave it as as buggy as you want or trim it off that's it now what I normally do is put a little bit of UV on the top on the top of the thorax across the bead and then we can hit that with the UV light and that just gives the thorax cover a bit of protection One little straggler there, but I guess here you can you can um, make this as bushy or as trim it down as much as you like. But there it is, the um, chocolate pheasant tail. It's it's not in your face. It's quite subtle. Um, it has the UV thorax to give it a little bit of bling. Um, it's weighted, so you can use it. Fish it slow on a floating line. Um, Hope you've enjoyed it get it tied up it catches a lot of fish um, if you've enjoyed it please uh, hit the like button and subscribe and uh, check out my other videos on fly tying and, and fishing lovely thanks very much